Saying man, it's your boy Papa Duck. Y'all already know what time it is. I just try to get y'all to use this. This video is sponsored by Ubuntu Apparel. Make sure you go to the website, man. Grab some gear. And if you bought anything off the site, thank you so much. Listen, today's video, man, is very simple. We, as people, we can change our lives like this. I mean like this. Okay? All it takes is for us to come together. That's it. If we had a people's committee, and I say this all the time, this high-ass gas, we can literally fight them and say, if y'all put that gas over this amount, we not buying it, and we all stand on that. If they were to, they, look at what they pushing in our schools to our children, bro. Have y'all seen what's going on, bro? If we as people came and say, man, you putting that in our children's library, coercing them to, Decide whether they this or that. Y'all got to read between the lines because you know they they, they 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 look at everything that I, that I say. But if you're going to do that, we're not sending our children to school, which we shouldn't should send our children to school anyway. I'm just going to be real. I'm just going to be honest. Listen, man. All we got to do is come together. And this is why I tell y'all divide and conquer is a cancer. <laughs> divide and conquer is a cancer. Look at what happened with um with Kanye West. When he did what he did to the people that he talked about, y'all know who these people are. These people went to pulling shit. They took his money. They went to pulling his deals. Why? Because they own stuff. They can really make things move. If we as black folks had uh, 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 shoe companies, clothing companies, I'm not talking about companies, I'm talking about factories, to where we could say, we don't need them. Come on. We're going to print up everything for you. Okay, and we're going to put it back out there, but we couldn't because we don't own them. We are the only ones, black people, the only ones that spend the most money and don't own shit. See, they say rich people like the flex. Wealthy people don't do that. They don't have to show off they got a car, they got this, they got that. We spend the most money. You think these people come to our hoods because they love us? The people that's at the gas stations, the corner stores, they've been there for years. I'm from Bell Glade. The same motherfuckers that run the PDQ. And if you from there, you know who I'm talking about. You really think they there because they love us. When when a bitch done came in that bitch from when they was a little boy to they grown and died. You think they went to their funeral? You think they sent their mama something? See, the thing about it, what Dame Dad said. Dame Dad said a, a, a Jewish man told him this. A Jewish man said that black people spend their money with any other culture. Even though that culture don't spend their money back. With them. And they saw that as a business opportunity. That's a slap in the face, homie. See, I tell y'all, everything is business. Business. When you step out your door, business. When you step out your door, you spending money when you jump in your car. You going somewhere, you spending money. And this is how they keep us on this hamster wheel. Because they know if we had time to fix, if Just imagine everybody didn't go to work. If we were sitting around, we would figure it out. Why you think they make us pay bills every 30 days? They have to keep us going. This shit don't, like, that's why I say it's common sense, bro. And I say the same thing because I want to beat this in your head. If we as people came together, we had some type of committee to, to challenge the things that they try to put on us, man, we could change our lives tomorrow, man. Don't be make work five days a week, homie. Some people work seven, six. It may like Monday come back around. No, nigga, when Monday gone, that's gone. But we so brainwashed, we think Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, then back to Monday. That shit don't make no sense. <laughs> no. Monday gone. But they make us work five days a week, two days off. Right? For them. Right? Why you think they took um um trades out of schools? I used to go to um, West Tech, down the one from. They taught carpentry, uh, automotives, mechanics. Why you think they took that out of uh, AC? Why you think they took that out of school? Because you could come out, right out of high school and start a business. They took that out of schools. I told y'all, nigga, the, uh, uh, America's biggest debt is school student loans. Getting the education when other countries are sending their they, they children to school, damn them for free. Can they try to build a nation up? I told you, America is a one big, this is one big mutt cesspool man full of nothing but everything okay and i'm telling y'all if we came together we can change our lives like this so i'm gonna tell you something 
Before integration, black peoples were forced to spend money with each other because you couldn't spend money with the other people. And you know who they is. Yeah. Black people had all kind of businesses. Mechanic shops, hotels, shoe shops, clothing shops, you name it. Black people had it going on. We even had our own black um, baseball league. And they saw that we was thriving. You know? You know how we do. We turn up. And what they said, oh, we got to integrate. We got to integrate. Because if we don't, they're going to over, they're going to surpass us. And we can't have that. And once they did that, they brought one black dude into the um baseball league. Now everybody black want to go to the baseball league. Now everybody black want to spin over here and spin over. Cause we, it made us want to be like them. And it was just, it just fucked us up. And I'm talking about, man, integration was the worst thing that happened to us. Honestly, think about it. And it's only because we don't spend money with each other. Okay? Like I say, when everybody else do it, it's business. When we do it, oh, it's racist. We can't spend money with each other. Don't you know all our athletes that got all the money, all the influence that can change this shit just like this, they spend their money with them same people. This is what Damien Dash was talking about when he said the Jewish people saw that y'all will spend y'all money with people that won't spend their money back with y'all. They saw that as a business opportunity. I keep telling y'all, bro, I don't even care if you got it for cheaper. It's in these people's religion not to spend money with you, nigga. Get that through your head, homie. This is real life we living in. I keep telling y'all, you fighting a war and you looking for tanks, bombs, and missiles, and you looking for all the smoke. No, brother. This is a silent weapon for a quiet war. Huh. Yeah, get it through your head. So when a group of people spend money with another group of people that don't spend the money back, that's a business opportunity because you are empowering this group. All your money is going to them. So every black person, when you say, I don't spend it, I ain't spending my money with you niggas. You just hurt your grandkids, homie. And I know a lot of y'all gonna say, well, just cause you, man, I'm gonna tell you something, man. We can't afford not to spend money with each other. That's how fucked up we is, okay? We can't afford to not spend money with each other. We are behind. We are so behind and it's becoming so normal to we don't even see it. We don't even see it. Everybody makes money off black people except black people. Put that together. Look at these commercials. I know I'm a little off topic, but I'm just going to show you something. When you see these big Fortune 500 commercials, breakdancing and doing all type of new TikTok moves, just doing all type of urban things, where the hell you think they get it from? See, this is how you create a silent weapon for a quiet war. Use them. Use the way they move. Use everything they do. Implement it in a Pepsi commercial. Sell it back to them. They're going to buy it. And we just think it's cool. We just think Pepsi fuck with us. Don't none of these companies fuck with us, bro. Shit, we don't even fuck with us. So what I'm trying to explain to you is, if we came together as black people, right? Meaning we have our own factories. We have our own TV stations. We have influence on our own people. And this is why I tell y'all, we as black men, we don't even create, we don't control, Right? We don't control how our black women are perceived, right? We don't control the perception of our black women when it comes to black men. The perception of how they see black men ain't that controlled by us and vice versa, women. The perception of black men have for black women or, or, or about black women, we don't control that. We're not on social media showing each other titties and booties it's a lot see i tell y'all i know i'm a lot off topic but i tell y'all great women and great men aren't celebrated on the devil's playground this is simple they celebrate thoughts gangsters killers they celebrate everything but what they tell you to be nobody figured this out when you ever seen a a black business with a the father started this business and the mothers they're helping and then the children they're helping and they grew it. They don't show you that, man. They show you the city girls. You know what I'm saying? This is by design, bro. 
Why is it that we're the only one exploited when it comes to women, when it comes to men? You never see Chinese people exploited. They never talk about you. You don't think Chinese people be doing stuff? They got the triads. They got gangs. You never see no, especially like, and I'm trying to use my words carefully, but the, the same people that Kanye West was going back and forth about, you'll never see them people sign another one of them to talk about their own people. That shit makes no sense, bro. All I say, it is common sense. What we have to realize is, we have to realize that entertainment on television that speaks about your own people, bro, you participating in your own demise. Watching this stuff. Why you think they had shows on the show on, on TV? Rest in peace, Jerry Springer. Maury. Do you understand what it how traumatized that is to see a man say he's not the father and the father run around, jumping around, doing break dancing, celebrating the fact that they, that that child is fatherless now? See who create these things in our mind. This is what I want women to understand. Think about what I just said. They don't take their time, put money up behind productions like this to entertain you. No, we want to paint a picture in you niggas' head. We want you niggas to see. Y'all ain't shit. We want to see this. Prime time on TV. I am not. He's not the father. Man, homie jumping around. He hollering. Who the, who the woman going back there running? She screaming. Bro, do you know what that do to us as people, bro? Do you really know what that do to us? It literally... It lit and that's why I say they control your mind, your body, and your fucking soul, man. They control it. You might think you control, but you don't. They do. They had you at home, like man. I gotta give me a blood test, man. Call who? Who said who? who? Blood test, bro. We should be living in a world where if you have a child, you ain't got to be my biological brother. My my duty should be. I have to look after that child in my my care, and vice versa. Oh no, nah, they ain't my child. I ain't finna. I ain't who they ain't. How that's not my child? And they look just like me. So when you when you say look like me, what, what, how does look like me mean? What that mean to you? They got arms. They got legs. They got nose. They got they got feet. Same color as your skin, bro. That's your that's your little sister, homie. But we let them define that for us. Or if she ain't came out the same womb you came out of, then biologically, y'all not. Come on, bro. See, they control that thought in your mind. And I know people going to be like, who? who do, you only saying that because you done already been brainwashed. If you lived in another country where this is what they did, then that's what you would be doing. They understand that, you don't. This is a computer. And whoever you let put programs in this computer controls you. So think about your life, like rethink your life, like redefine things and say, you know what? That big duck might be on to something with that. Because we're living in a world, dog, where we let other people create the perception for us. Who said that's not your little brother? Because what? Because you ain't laid down with the mama and had, her, had him? Who said that's not your little sister? All these so-called religious people, oh, I'll just go to the, man, come on, man, cut it, man. Cut it. We should all be like, look, man, we all sisters and brothers, man. We don't let the how the any how the motherfucker that enslaved you gonna save you. Hmm? Same person that enslaved you finna save you. These the same people telling you what you should and shouldn't be doing. These the same people defining things for you. No, you define them for yourself. That's your little sister, bro. That's your little brother, man. Until we get on that that level of thinking, man, this is the devil's playground, homie. And they at and they full swing at work. When you sleep, they at work. When you up, they at work. And it's just that simple, bro. Just that simple. So me, I ain't want this video to be that long. Like I be telling y'all, I be trying to keep it on the ten minute. Please share this video. Please put your comments. Say what you gotta say. But I'm just being real, bro. It's time we cut the act, bro. We only here, man. We don't know when we're going to expire. We see what's going on. That shit ain't working. That's why I say whatever we've done up until this point, it ain't working. So whatever you want to talk about has to be torn down and reconstructed. It ain't working, bro. And it never will work. 
It's just that simple. So until we get on that playing field, homie, we're going to be divided and we're going to stay being conquered. You feel me? Because we feel like, oh, next door, that ain't my problem. That ain't, no, bro. Back in the day, man, them, them, them old folks sat on the porch and, and, and I used to get a whipping from the, I got a whipping from the next door neighbor. I came home, got a whipping from my grandma. My mama came home, she whooped me. And then my uncle, he might go on. <laughs> feel me? We don't do that no more. We're living in a world where these people done told us that you can't put your hand on that child. Or we don't want nobody telling our child nothing. Even though you know your child did that wrong. Don't put your hand on my child. Where we get that from, bro? I grew up where anybody can touch your child because we all raised each other children, bro. So we got to fight the government. We got to fight the way that they say we should and shouldn't live. We got to fight trying to provide as a man when the stigma as a man is being portrayed by people who don't like us. Like I say, the people that enslave you is not going to save you. They paint the picture on one hand where the man is and where the woman is. And on the other hand, this is how they should be. But they not. Today is not relationship friendly. Everything is accessible. Then you got these fake ass gurus, influencers on, on, online telling you this and telling you that. Bro, we all growing up from different aspects. Different aspects. So we perceive men differently, women differently. You feel me? Like, come on, bro. I'll I do a whole nother video about that because like I say, man, we got a lot of people online that's and ain't trying to discredit nobody, but sometimes, man, I'll, we we got to we got to call it like it is. You know what I'm saying? We have to approach the problem, which is the people that is pulling the strings that no one wants to talk about. That's why I double salute Kanye West, where I got big balls because he got out there, put it all on the line, and that's something Michael Jordan ain't gonna do. That's something LeBron James ain't gonna do. That's something ain't none of them gonna do. Kanye did it. And we all saw him get in the ring, and we watched him get his ass beat. But that should have that should have sent a message to us to let us see that how is it that this man stand up for what he believe in, he get beat to the ground, but yet y'all can sign little children to rap about killing our own people, and y'all make money from it when they dead or alive. You either dumb or you stupid, homie. And I'm being I'm being I'm being as respectful as I can. But like I said, we running out of time, man. I ain't got time for that no more, man. I'm going to call it like it is. I'm, I'm sorry, but it is what it is. We got to tighten up. Because the people that enslave you is damn sure ain't going to save you. They even turned Juneteenth, Juneteenth into a, a holiday. Because it's got a lot of influence now. It's got influence now. Now that it got influence, that's, that's powerless. I mean, so that's powerful. I'm sorry. That's powerful. It's got influence. People know what it is now. So we could we could slide in there, give make it a holiday and make money off of it. But watch for the hook. That's why your third eye gotta be open, bro. They can't run it on you. So wake up, people. Like I say, man, leave your comments, man. See what you gotta say. Please share this video, man. I ain't mean it for it to be this long. But y'all know, man, when I get to going, I go. But like I tell you all the time, man, in order for you to be found, you must first be lost. I love y'all, man. I'm going to holler at y'all on the next video, man. I'm out.